everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is gonna be a I wrap my palettes video. I, I got this concept from Samantha March who posted her video like a few days ago. And so I will be ranking my palettes from least favorites to most favorites. And if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. Okay, if you are interested in the content I create, if you're interested in me, and if you're interested in this whole universe, Please don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe down below, hit that notification bell to be informed when I upload and let's just get into the video. So I have 16 palettes. I did throw away some and I did um, declutter some and I'll be having a declutter video up soon and if you want to see that, please don't forget to subscribe. So the first palette that I am ranking as my lowest and you might, you might be shocked because I was shocked too. I was so excited to get this palette. This is the ColourPop Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette. I know, a lot of people love this palette and it's beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And I love peach tones. When I saw it, I wanted it so bad. I don't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. I'm sad because I really wanted to love this palette. I'm sorry. The next one is heartbreaking because this is a collaboration with ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. And this is the Zodiac Palette, her Zodiac Palette. I do have the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette, which I had to declutter. I had to throw it away because they were starting to mold. This palette is really beautiful as well, but the Aquarius shade, it's a beautiful shade in the pan, but it's so hard to build up. And then this, the Capricorn shade, I just don't like these kinds of shades where they're like matte with little flecks of glitter because once you put them on the eye, all the glitter goes away. Again, all of this is preference. If you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. Sorry. I love you, Catherine Light. I love Okay, next is a, a palette I, I won in a giveaway. And a lot of people like this palette as well. But I just don't. It's the Perception Palette by Shayla and ColourPop. This is not all ColourPop, okay? I have some non-ColourPop items. It just so happens that I have a lot of ColourPop. This is the Perception Palette. A lot of people love this. And for good reason. Uh, it's beautiful. It has everything you could ever need in a, like, a basic palette. But for some reason... I don't enjoy it as much. Again, I don't like stallion. It's like a black with a glitter. I, it's a beautiful shade in the pan, but it never sticks to the eye. But I do like this palette. It's just I don't reach for it as much as I would want. I feel like people are going to attack me in the comments. Don't attack me, okay? It's just preference, okay? Okay, um, something that might come as a surprise to you. This is the My Little Pony. Oh my gosh, I just dropped my palette. Don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Oh, thank goodness, it didn't break. This is the My Little Pony ColourPop palette. Okay, this is, might be really weird because it's a very different kind of palette and you might not think like, what? But I have used this a lot and I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy the shades in here because they have shades here that are so different from my other collections. I do enjoy this palette, but I've used this a lot, surprisingly. It's unique and I like it. Okay, next is the Morphe 30, is this a 30, 3502 palette. So we have the 350 and the 3502. I got the 3502 just because I felt like it was more vibrant, more in your face. And I love this a lot. But I feel like as I use it, I realize the shades are so similar. And these 35 hand palettes by Morphe, they, they have so many of the same shades. Like you don't really notice the difference in your eyes. That's why I stopped buying the 35 pan palette. And remember when there was like this volcano dress by uh, the Philippines, Miss Universe Philippines? I did a look using this palette, recreating that like volcano ness of her dress. Oh, I rhymed. Next breaks my heart because I love her so much. She's like one of my top favorite influencers. And this is the, oh, hi, hi, hi. This is the Carly Bible and ABH palette. I don't know. It's just, it feels a little underwhelming to me. I don't, it's hard for me to make a complete look with this. I do like Mandala. It's a gorgeous shade. OA, which is like a, like a pressed glitter. They're gorgeous shades. They're so buttery. They're so gorgeous. But there's not one like super deep shade that I can deepen my crease with or my outer crease with. There isn't one light shade which I can use to blend everything out. And these light shades, they're all shimmery. There's just something lacking with this palette. But I just, I love using 
the shades with other palettes. And I do love the formula. And I do like the shade selection. I just feel like there's there are lacking two shades in this palette. And yeah, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. But it's beautiful and I'm going to keep using this because I love it. And I did use this palette in my last video with... I did use this in my last video with... I'm linking up here. Watch it. Next is a cult classic, but I realize I can't I don't know how to use it very well. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Ren, Modern Renaissance. I love this palette. This is my like I love these like pink shades, but and and, and you can see that they're like these, you know, you know this palette. Everybody knows this palette. But for for me it's kind of hard for me to use some of these shades. They're very cool toned. And I like warm tones more. I gravitate towards my warm to tones a little bit more. But I do love this palette a lot. And you can see I have used it quite a bit. And I don't think I'll ever get rid of this. Ever. Ever. Next, this is the Dare to Create by Morphe uh, 39A. It's a huge palette. Oops, oops. The only reason why this is a little bit higher than some of the other palettes is because it has so many color stories. It's like five palettes in one. You have the blue color story, the um, like foresty green color story, the like pinky mauvey color story, some neutrals over here which are both warm and um, warm and cool, and then we have some basic shades over there which I think is just great. I have used this a lot. But then I realized it's just so freaking huge. It's bigger than my head. It's like two of my head. And it's just so big. And I can't, I don't reach for it because it's so hard to store. And it's so hard to take out of storage. But I do like it because if I want to go for green, I just focus on this shade. If I want to go for blue, I focus on that, you know? Um, one thing, I love this color, the shade over here, but it's just super, like, crumbly, which is sad. A lot of blue shades, I notice, are quite crumbly, and yeah, and it's just, it's just so big. So it's, yeah, but I like it, I, and it's expensive. I mean, in my, in my country, it's, like, really expensive. One that is kind of like the Perception palette, only has better quality, is the Born to Run by Urban Decay. I can I feel I'm being attacked already this is beautiful I got this on sale I'm so happy I got this but I don't find myself reaching out for this as much as I thought I would there's just something about it that I feel like is lacking I don't know what it is but I just feel like there's something lacking you know I use this on my eyes today. Just it's again, it's just preference, okay? Don't don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. It's just preference. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I'll be putting their rankings here below. The chocolate bar palette, every time I open it, oh, I smell like cocoa. I mean Christmas. This is a beautiful palette. I use this a lot, um, but these beautiful shimmer face sh shimmer shades are not like boom, shimmer. It's more of a subtle shimmer. So what I use this for is usually when I go to work. I use this like for an everyday look. This is my everyday look palette. So it's a little bit ranked. It's ranked a little bit up there. I like this. It's a great basic palette. Next is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe um, first, the first palette, part of her first launch. Uh, not the one with, with, that she redid with the glossy feel. I remember Jen Loves Reviews did a video on how they're different, the glossy one and this one. So I'm happy I got this one. I'm not getting rid of it anytime soon. I do love this a lot. I mean, come on, come on. The only thing I don't like about this is these two shades are a little bit hardly, like firmly pressed. It's kind of hard to transfer the, the, the look on the eye. But I do enjoy this palette a lot. I love these beautiful like shades, although I feel like some of them are too similar. I mean, do I even have to talk about this? Come on, you guys know this. Another one is by ColourPop. This is another Kathleen Lights collab. And this is her Dream Street collab. I love this so much. Uh, I just have a little bit of a problems using Water Bear because it's kind of crumbly. But oh, I love this. I love this a lot. It's a little, I have a crap here. I love this color magical. I love this. I love this palette. It's gorgeous. You can do a blue palette, a blue eye. You can do a peachy eye. You can do a neutral I, I love this palette okay and i love that there's a yellow i love yellows so yeah sorry if i keep looking at the viewfinder um just i want to make sure that i'm in focus 
or I'm in the frame. One peach palette that I enjoy is the Too Faced Just Peachy palette. I love this. They're all mattes. Except for this weird peach sangria shade. Oh yeah, it's still a matte. It doesn't look matte on the pan, but it's matte when you swatch it. And it's a little hardly pressed. This is the, my least favorite shade, just because of the formula. I feel like there's something wrong with it. Um, but everything else is just, oh, I love it. I love this palette a lot. I've been, I use this a lot, especially for like every day. You can you definitely use this every day. For me, going to work, you know. Again, it's preference. And I love the packaging. Yee! I love this. I'm so happy I got this on sale. I get all my high ends on sale. I never buy full price. Because, I mean, come on. Why not? Okay, next is the palette by ABH. This is the Sultry palette. I did not think I'd, I'd like this. But then it went on sale and I was like, okay, fine. I'll just buy it and compare it to my other palettes. Ooh, my gosh. I love this. In, I did mention I didn't... I don't really gravitate towards cool tone shades, but this definitely taught me how to do that. I don't know, there's something about this that I love. The formula seems extra spicy, yes, extra soft, and all these shimmer shades are just so beautiful. My favorite shade is this rose quartz over here, and there's these like three gray shades that I don't usually use, but then I, tr I tend to want to because it's so beautiful, and I love this. I love this, especially these shades over here for work. Oh my gosh, if I wear something that's a little bit more cool toned, I wear these. It's just stunning and I I, I always use this. Always. I love it. A longtime favorite of mine is the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette and I'm so heartbroken that they discontinued. Why did you discontinue with ColourPop? Why? This is my favorite ColourPop palette of all time because it's just, look at it. It's just gorgeous. The formula is extra soft, extra juicy. It's just extra beautiful and extra soft. Oh, I said soft. And extra shiny and glimmery and shimmery. I don't know what it is about this palette, but they just knocked it over the park. Is that the term? Knock it over the park? Knock it out of the park? They knocked it out of the park. And I'm actually afraid to use this up because there is no restock. And it has been discontinued, but I just I, I wanted to mention it in my in my favorites because this is like I love this. Okay, so the number one, the favorite, the one I reach for the most. Um, again, I like neutrals, I like pinks, I like warm tones. You might have guessed it. It's the, the this the soft glam of Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this palette so much. It has all the colors I want. My favorite shades: dusty rose, rose pink, sultry bronze, mulberry basically everything and i just love pairing it with the sultry i love pairing it with the carly bible i also love pairing it with the modern wren i just love this a lot and i use this all the time especially when i go to work or when i just feel like it and yeah i'm so happy i have this again sale so that is it everybody thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment down below your favorite palette and your least favorite palette in your collection and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you did and comment down below i already said comment down below ring that notification bell if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video bye